What up in this John's your boy IBS Kelso coming back with another MX Bikes banger. Now before you adjust your phone brightness or change your monitor settings, yes I am black and playing a dirt bike game. Now this is my first official amateur race ever in MX Bikes, like official. And uh, we're on Unadilla, I forget, I think it's Maryland Motorsports, shout out to them. Uh, w, if you guys see this video, thank you so much for allowing me to, I guess, sign up, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I have my dude Ryder and Mintz in here. Apparently they're both like amateur band. They're up in the big leagues now. Shout out to y'all. But yeah, I'm excited. I'm on the Kawasaki 250. I placed 21st for top eight, for A main. So I got a 210. I think the highest was the 207. And they dropped everybody that had a 207, 206. And only allowed people from a uh, 208 and under. So I'm very excited to see how I do. I think the biggest thing, what I've been working on, I just hit. I literally just hit 700 hours. So the biggest thing for me is I've just been working on consistency, literally. That's all it is. And we're gonna get a great start off the gate. Oh my god, you that game oh. Now, I'm gonna just go ahead and take this outside because I, I can't trust it. But yeah, my biggest thing right now is just consistency. I don't care about the speed. I think the biggest thing is consistency will come with speed. Or speed will come with consistency. There we go. Um, But yeah, I mean, I, as long as I can stay consistent, I think that's all that matters. And as I say that, I go down and I take out switch. My bad, pimp. Now it's going to have to find a hard way to get in. I'm just going to go ahead and come down here. It's allowed to happen. All right, bet. Now slow down. Let's not get kicked out of this rut because you know how that goes. Yep, I was prepared for it. Trust I was prepared for it. And you just got to understand how these amateurs ride. And yeah, so I'm excited for my first race. Glad for it to be on Unadilla. This is actually a W map right over that guy's chicken noodle head. But yeah, I'm going to try to record both. Holy cow. 20 minutes per one sick all right i'm ready i'm ready all right i'm ready for this holy cow i might have to try to cut in only the good you know meats and crannies of both motos because i really do want to record both motos and show you guys my consistency that's all that matters you know so i might show as much as i can until it's like okay man i do not want to make this a 40 minute you know i don't want to make this a 40 minute video when it doesn't need to be a 40 minute video but yeah we're moving up dude i think i'm in fourth place right now kind of cooking as long as I can stay in the top, I think the, yeah, I think right now, if I can stay in the top five right now for as long as I can hold out, that'd be awesome. I think it's the little things that are going to mess me up. Now, I did switch from 1250 to a 1351 back. I've been enjoying the 1250, but I think I need to run 1250 for when I go to, uh, for when I go to Supercross and outdoors, a 1350, because I, I raised my rod length all the way up. And my dude, Mintz, shout out to Mintz and Morgan, they said your rod length is what's going to give you more tor torque to the back of the wheel. So that's what I've been really focusing on. And um, yeah, so I felt like a 1351 would actually be still fine. And right now I'm still getting a lot of, I'm still getting a lot of torque to the back wheel in third gear. So that's what my biggest thing is why I went down to the 12, uh, 1250, because I wanted more torque to the back wheel, but I realized I didn't really need to change the sprocket. I just needed to move my rod length up. So the more you know, the more you know. But so far I'm cooking, I'm, I'm, I'm vibing. First, uh, first lap around, I only did one little stupid mistake. Let's see if we can get this inside. Cannot. It's okay. That's what I really wanted. I wanted that inside. We'll go for the inside next time. I'm going to take it nice and easy here. Easy peasy breaking bumps. Glide through. Yeah, we're just gliding. We're just gliding. Nice little uh, scrub a dub. Now, if I end up like stop talking throughout the half of it, I do apologize. I feel like I ran out of, <laughs> ran out of stuff to talk about. But I feel like for my first amateur race... Being at 700 hours, whoo, I mean, I feel like I'm low-key, you know, consistency is there, you know? And should I be at this most cons mu this much consistency at 700 hours? Let me know down in the comment section if you made it this far. If not, and you're thinking that I could be better, I could be worse, let me know, let me know. I'm very curious, because I, I, always ask, I always ask my friends about that, like, you know, like, should I be at this level or should I be even pushing way more than what you think it is now? But I don't know. Right now, I feel super happy with where I'm at, and I go down. That is my second crash, and I mess him up. My bad, Jake. My bad. Can I can I stop the bike? Can I stop the bike? That's my second crash. I won't count that little crash of falling down, but that's my second crash. I feel like I can get around this this track easy peasy. That was literally on my own account. This was going to be on mine, too, because I took the inside. That's okay. 16 minutes left. I feel like Pabosa was hearing me talk and he was like, you know, why are you talking about consistency when you should just be focusing on the game? So yeah, I don't know. Let's go ahead and try to catch at least two people. I think I saw Jake GRD, shout out to him. I've seen him a couple times in some of my daddies. Um, so I think he would be loving to take me out, not take me out, uh, kind of keep the consistency above me. 
So, and then I seen this guy, Goon. Seen him qualify. I think he qualified literally like 25th or so. So he's, uh, I mean, he, he's got the consistency. So that, I guess it doesn't really matter where you qualify. It's all about the consistent laps you're gonna run, you know? That's a huge thing, so. I'm gonna go ahead and a little scrub, stand up. Not gonna do too much of a scrub that time. Please don't hit me. Oh my God, I can't believe I just survived that. And I think if that would have been Papiti ranked or whatever, that bike probably would have been flying all over my freaking screen. And uh, it would have been a hard time for me to get off, get off of that, so. Now I never heard of MD Motorsports. Shout out to you guys again, once again. Um, the only reason I actually signed up for this race was I actually got off work and uh, got off work and I get a message from my dude Ryder, shout out to Ryder once again. And he was like, yeah, uh, do you want to sign up for this race? You racing? And I was like, what race, dude? Send me the link. And then, yeah, he sends me the link and I'm like, all right, bet. Like, I don't have that much practice on this track, but uh, I'll give it a go. And before you knew it, I only, I only warmed up for about 15 minutes and then five minutes of that practice. And then I just kind of went ham. I was able to set down a really fast lap within the first 25 minutes. I did not know qualifying for amateurs let me know down in the comment section as well what's the usual you know qualifying but to qualify for amateurs literally 25 minutes dude that was a long qualifying time and uh it wasn't bad okay this outside is really gonna start getting a nice line since everybody's taking it so i'm gonna have to be very cautious and probably stand up more but yeah that that qualifying time was very long and damn it dude all right another crash lap three another crash another simple ridiculous crash so it's, it's the little crashes you guys see so far that's what's pulling me back. I feel like I have good speed. I feel like I'm keeping good consistency and then literally one crash is gonna give the other person that actually has the good consistency uh, my spot. So just gotta live with it, man. I just gotta be okay. And that, I like that middle rut. I like that middle rut a lot. So that's okay with me. We're just gonna bounce back. Like, like I said, focus. I did pass Goon. So it was just like I took a spot and then I just lost it to somebody else. So now basically the exact same spot Let's try to catch the Yamaha. 13 minutes left on the clock. You know what I could do? I could possibly, possibly like post two different videos for two different days, you know, Moto 1, Moto 2, I don't know. I haven't thought about it yet, but it could be a possibility. So I won't, I won't leave that out to question, you know, just in case. It just kind of popped in my mind, but. Should not be in first gear. I don't, I don't even remember going down the first gear unless it see, oh my God. I like game mode. Now, I love this Kawasaki. I know probably some of you guys out there are like, dude, this guy rides Kawasaki in almost every video, almost all of his videos, but come on. Dude, this Kawasaki 250 is absolutely nuts. Would you have ever hear me say that? Would you have ever heard me? Anybody that really knows me and has been watching my content, would you have ever heard me say that this Kawasaki is nuts? No, I literally hated the Kawasaki last, last OEM update. And now, <laughs> it's my bread and butter, dude. I ride this thing every day. Like, this thing is absolutely bananas dude nuts there we go i thought i was actually gonna get a bad wobble there but shout out to the new oems <laughs> shout out to the, uh, actually i do want to take that that middle rut that middle rut actually will save me a lot of time i need to stop taking that outside i'm gonna work on that i'm gonna slow down just a bit to get that inside and once again lap lap four so right now i am i am limiting myself to one lap of crash and it's so far that's the whole reason why i keep losing one position and that's okay that's okay, I feel like I'm doing really good. I feel like I'm doing really good and that's okay. If I can limit myself to one crash, one one crash, let's try to work on doing one crash every every two laps. So that, that's what we're gonna try to work on for the rest of this moto. One crash every two laps. And I feel like I keep crashing in, in spots that I didn't crash before. So it's just like, I feel like I'm trying to push it out of my limit, out of my comfort zone, and that's what's making it happen. Like right here, slow up. Slow it up, actually get up in there, boom. Drive out. It's not like I have to go Mach 10 in there, you know? It's not like I have to go Mach 10 in there, so. There we go, all right, push up. We're right here on the Yamaha, he did go down. And we still got two other people in front of him, slow down. Okay, another crash, another crash. I, I knew where that was coming from, that's okay. Let's get on the, let's get on the track without hurting anybody, hitting anybody. I guess now the battle is to stay in top 10 because I feel like I got it. I feel like I got it. I feel like I can do it. Um, it's just a simple mistakes and you guys see it. You guys literally see it right here. All right, I gotta see what, what line he took. Oh, way to cut me off. I knew he did it on purpose too. I mean, I knew he wanted it. I felt like he was already going faster. He deserved it, but man, you ain't gotta, you ain't gotta do 
Yeah, I got, oh, it's a disciples rider. Never mind. Guys, we all know about the disciple riders. Shout out to the disciples, bro. Them guys either play dirty, don't know how to ride. That's it. That's all I got. Nah! <laughs> That's all I got. Play dirty or don't know how to ride. Now, playing dirty doesn't mean they don't know how to ride. It's just either play, they either ride dirty being good and, and or they don't know how to ride. I've seen so many disciple people literally, literally just be like, what are you doing? Oh, he sent that, John. The fact that he landed that, that was super sick. All right. What did I say? Middle rut? Yeah, I'll take that for sure. I'm right here. I'm right here. I mean, I'm, I'm right here. Slow her down. That's all it is. A little bit more breaking bumps. And then I literally go over again. What is that? Oh, come on. It's back on the horse. Here we go. There we go. All right. So far, I'm, I'm, I'm vibing. I'm vibing. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at my progress. I'm not mad at my progression. I'm not mad at the little falls. I think I'm right where I need to be. I'm right where I need to be. I feel like I had, like, for me to be out front, uh, avoid the crashes and not have to fight from the back and already know what my potential was. Okay, I don't know what that was. You guys, I don't know what that was. I don't know what that was. I don't know. Like, wh what? Oh, this is about to be a cluster. Come on, man. Oh, my God. That was cluster. Well, now I'm in for sure 15 to, tw uh, 15 to 10. For sure 15 to 10. So now, got to find it out. Halfway, hey, ha halfway down through the moto, and you, I effed around and found out what I was about. You know what I mean? And that, that, I felt like that, I felt like that crash was not even on me. That was, I, I can't even take credit for that crash. That was literally Pobobo. That was literally Poboso, and that right there too. Like, how 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 low do you want to put my bike down to the ground? Holy cow! That's okay. Slow her up. I felt. Oh yes. Split split the seas. Split the seas. Part the Red Sea. Now I seen him take that outside, so that's what I don't have to bear with. First moto, if I can get a top 15, I'll be fine. I think I had a top 10 for sure. I think I had a top 10 for sure. I feel like, I mean, there's eight minutes left. You never know. I really could be on the burn piece coming up. I could really be on the burn piece coming up and I could be cooking. Maybe use a little bit more break. Thoughts? Also, another little little tip. Um, another tip I would say uh, is definitely don't switch gears on the floor. Like, unless you're downshifting. Unless you're downshifting, that right there is just a bad right. But unless you're, I mean, my, bad line choice. But if you guys are not downshifting, you shouldn't be downshifting on the floor. You should definitely be uh, working on only shifting up in the air. It's, uh, I tell you, man, it's like a 0.5 of a second that you're losing, like, like of a millisecond or whatever, a tenth of a second, and you just really don't want to lose that little point of trying to. Unless you have to, really, unless you have to, should not want to. Uh, and that guy goes completely over. W reentry. Glad I didn't take the inside. And right there, I felt like I just needed that extra power through there, so I had this uh, gear up. But like right here, I wouldn't switch up the fourth unless I'm in the air, down the third. I'm, I might have to stop taking that outside, but I don't know. Let me know, how, dude, the progress. The progress that I'm seeing on myself, that's fine. Dizzle, let's get active. Let's get active, Dizzle. Bo shizzle my nizzle. Here we go. Now. I think I got my reshade looking just fine for this track. Holy cow, this this track looks so beautiful. This and like, this and Washu. Oh, that was ridiculous. This and Washugal's got to be. I mean, so far until I see another another track by TFC, but so far this and Washugal's got to be my most colorful, pretty tracks, dude. I love both of them, dude. They they look so beautiful. Um. They did wonders, and especially the reshade I have. If you guys ever want to check my reshade out and try to download it, it is on my channel, and you have to join my Discord in order to get the uh, file for it. But, uh, oh my god. Whew, man. I, I feel like a scrub here, down the second, and drive would be okay. Dude, I don't know what that front talk is, man. I feel like right now, Moto1, I have definitely ran into a lot of little... L little itty bitty mistakes that shouldn't have happened and that's okay that's okay i'm learning i'm learning i'm at 700 hours guys i'm at 700 you know 
We gotta work on the lines. I think the biggest thing is just work on the consistent lines. Slow down. Easy. Work on the lines. Work on the lines. Standing up more. Homie goes down. I'll take that. Here we go. Oh! Woo! See right there. I was standing up. I was standing up in the in the front end. I didn't touch uh, the ground. Too much weight. Too much torque. I will say that. You got to be careful with 1351. Got to be careful with 1351. Uh, the reason why is because there's a lot of torque, especially that you have your high, especially you have your uh, rod length all the way up. A lot of torque. Okay. So you you gotta you gotta be know it, be ready to ready to experience that one for sure. And that was just a bad bad section. So that definitely lost me about a second. But I think I have somebody in front of me. I don't know who this is. I think it might be Dizzle for Shizzle, my Minizzle. Ooh, yeah, I, I'm scared to keep taking it. I feel like muscle memory is going to automatically make me go to the outside. Um, but so far, it hasn't really messed me up. So that was a good section. OK, don't mess up like last time. OK, give me give me like that. Ooh, I deserve it, right? I deserve that, right? Like right there. What what is that? Like, I don't even know. Like, I, I really don't. Oh, my bad, Rudy. I don't really don't. I really couldn't tell you either. Like, I really couldn't tell you what was the cause of, 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 fa of fallage there. But shout out to Oblivion, Rudy. I don't know who you really are, but hey, going crazy right now. Never mind. Um, moving, moving on. Huh? Uh! Sicko mode. Rev limit. Rev limiter. Oh my god, almost a front tuck too. That was pretty bad. All right, we got to go down the second. We gotta go down second, second, maximize that second gear to try to get to at least 40 plus. I'm gonna take this outside again. It's not really, it's not beat up that much, unless, and except for the outside. The outside's pretty beat up. I'll say, I'll say that. Like the out, the exiting of the corner is pretty beat up. That, that's not looking too good. Okay, go, go, go. I have a couple people in my sights, guys. I have a couple people in my sights. We could get down the business. Three minutes left. Clock's not even out with the plus two. We could get down the business. I'm just saying. Okay, never mind. Like, how does that work? How does that happen? I don't I don't get it, dude. Like literally out of nowhere. I get like the worst physics, dude. Is that all right? Let me know down in the comment section. I'm saying physics, but is it really just me? And you guys can tell me right now. I'll be honest. Like, if I'm blaming it too much on physics, that was probably on me too. But if I'm blaming it, if I'm blaming it too much on physics, bro, let me know. Like, I I don't want to be that guy blaming on physics, but I feel like I I feel like I'm doing the exact same thing from last time, and I'm just getting poboso. So I don't know. Oh, let's give her a go. Right, that right there. I just got to stand up throughout the whole thing. See if we can jump into this. Take it nice and slow. Because as it starts to break down. I gotta remember, you know, you can't go as fast as before, but you can give it. And I feel like good thing I remembered talking about that. That's not bad. You can definitely see the slowness. Definitely see it. I think right now, salvage a top 10. I mean, top 20. P push it, push it, get as close as you can to stay closer to top 10. But don't get as close as you can to top 20. And I think I think I'll be fine with that. Thoughts? Okay, that's kind of dangerous. Let me just stand up the whole way. I feel like now I gotta start standing up the whole time. Instead of like not standing up, because it's about to be dangerous. Like, what is that? What is that? Me and Pax battling. Me and Pax battling. I'm in freaking fifth gear. Oh my god. Ooh, that's so bad. Me and Pax are definitely battling. Man, oh my god. Let me know what you guys think at my 700 hours. My 700 hours, my first amateur race. And I'm in top 20. Is that bad? Good? Like, you gotta let me know, dude. I'm in top 20. J 
Jake goes down. Jake passed me so long ago. I feel like Jake had so much consistency in the front, and I'm finally passing him. Stand up. Slow down. Catch that middle one. That's huge. No front tuck. That's huge. That's huge. I'll take that too. I'm gonna scrub. I'm gonna scrub. Land back wheel, and I'm gonna go for the middle rut. I'm gonna go for it. And I'm gonna stand up sooner rather than later. <sighs> woo, woo, woo. I'm getting bounced around here. This section is dirty. That's either you either gain a lot of time or you lose a lot of time section, dude. And I think this coming up here as well. Yep, stand up. Stand up out of it. That's easy. That's easy peasy. We got that one down in the bag. Nice. Just take it nice and slow. Let off the gas a little bit. Because the E-road e -road and, and standing up is going to hit you. It's going to haunt you. Right here. Take it easy. Take it easy. Sit down. Stand up. I don't know what that was. I, I'll take it, though. I'll take it. Hey, I, I'll take it. Trust me. Slow it down. Stand up throughout the whole thing. Like, if I have to let go, if I have to start on the gas a little later than, than, than usual, that's fine. I'll do that. Right here, don't even, don't even do anything crazy. Just let, let the bike do its work. We'll take that inside. Oh, 100%. We'll go fourth gear, because I got to. I said about not switching on the ground, but hey, there's nowhere for me to do it. I didn't want to start too early and, and bog. Third gear, what a, what a bounce. We're good. Oh, we're good. Plus two is coming almost into effect, guys. I feel like late game... This is what it's all about. The consistency. Okay. Okay. Oh man. If this was 450, I don't I don't see myself being being like this only cuz I I definitely need way more practice with the 450, let's be honest. Let's be honest. All right. Go, go, go. Fourth gear. I should have freaking... I should have upshifted. I should have upshifted when I went up the thing. Holy cow. Third gear. I went right over the berm. You guys saw it. You guys saw it. I went right over the berm. Allowed... Uh, I feel like that was Pax. I allowed Pax to just catch me. I went right over the berm. Easy peasy. Nice little bounce? No, not enough. I knew, I knew I OJ'd. Am I about to get lapped? Man, that's sad. That's sad. No! Now all of a sudden... I think I definitely just got passed. He was running a 206. Dude, that guy literally... If you guys want to think about it, my... Top five? Top five. True, true story, true story. Top five? 206. 207, 207, 207. He's running a 207. Homie literally just finessed the system. Just imagine if Mintz and them would have done that. Just allowed their time to be a little bit lighter, lower. Shout out to Zumi though. She for sure, for sure knew how to finesse the system. Okay, I don't understand what that is. Now, now that's just me messing up. Trying to let him go, not take his lines. I'll take that, whatever. I mean, I'm closer to top 10. I'm closer to top 10 than I am in uh, top 20. That's a huge, that's a huge plus for me. I'll take that any day. Holy cow. I feel like I'm sweating. I feel like I'm sweating, like, like literally sweat coming down my forehead. <laughs> I feel like right now this hoodie is not it. Holy cow. But I did get lapped. So if he's on last lap right now, this is my last lap. What I will say right now, 700 hours first amateur race was a W for me. I mean, this is only Moto 1 at the end of the day. Unless unless they're only doing one Moto. I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. Unless there's two Motos, we, we might have a chance. But, you know, I, I think, I think, oh, no. I think, I think first Moto was enough to post, post-worthy the whole thing, you know. Oh, man, Jake, no, come back. All right, let's close out. Let's try, let's close out strong. Let's close out strong, because I know I can get Jake. Let's close out strong. Can't believe I just landed that. Let's 
close that strong. Let's close that strong. Let's cut him. I'm low key focusing just a bit because I feel like I want to. I know I, I really wanted that inside. I really wanted that inside. Jake's gonna grab me. Jake's gonna grab me. I feel like I would have him on cuts though, right? Do I have him on cuts? I guess we'll see. Because he even got. Oh, it's not even last lap. Wait, what's chicken bone? What is that? Dude, I, all right, you guys, I've been gassed. I've been gassed. Guys, I've been gassed. I thought that was literally last lap. This is this has got to be last lap. I do I did forget that he got. Oh my god, I can still go catch. I I probably go catch him. I I literally cheesed myself just now. Oh my god, I had a uh, blonde moment. Is that bad to say? <laughs> is that bad to say? I felt like I had a legally blonde moment. Guy ran out of gas. Ooh, I hope I don't run out of gas. Well, guys, ladies and gentlemen, that goes to show. Make sure you put enough gas in your tank. I hope I did. I'm kind of scared because I feel like I jinxed. Dang. Sucks to suck for them, dude. I'm finishing. I'm finishing. I know I got the gas for it. I mean, I've already been lapped, too. I'm going to have to definitely check, like, how much gas I had left. I'll turn it on, too. I'll check. I'm going to have to... Oh, what is that? Good thing I pressed the brake. I've been working on not using any brake, and so far, it's like... It's it's helped me, hurt me. Help me, hurt me. I think this is Jake right here. I think this is Jake right here. He's going to take that inside. He gets, he gets swashed. No! I get swashed. How does that work? Jake or Rudy? All right, let's double shift and go. Double shift the fourth. Let's go get him. Double shift the fourth. Let's go get him. Stood up the whole time on that. Dang, dude. I felt like I could have got him. I, bas I basically caught Jeff. I basically caught Jeff. I mean, not Jeff. <laughs> I basically caught Jake. I caught Jake. I caught Jake. I caught him. Dude, good round, Jake. Dude. All right. Let also, let's check real quick. Let's just check what my fuel was at. I still had, I still had one liter left. So actually, I really did. Actually, I really did. I, I actually had enough. But just in case, man, it's your boy IBS Kelso. And I'll catch you guys all on the absolute next one. Pa pa. Pa 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 pa. Peace.